what is checksum uh, we will discuss about what is the idea of checksum uh, the ones complement and the and the internet checksum so checksum is nothing but uh, it's uh, an idea to check the error so it is used in the internet by several protocols although not at the data link layer the checksum is an error detection method please understand it's not an error correction method it's an error detection method in data communication and it is used for errors which may have been introduced while the data is going or during transmission or storage we'll uh, discuss this uh, topic with certain examples suppose our data is a list of say some four bit five uh, numbers means four bit five numbers that we want to send to a destination so we have a source here we have a destination here so in addition to sending these numbers we will also send the sum of these numbers for instance these are the numbers one two three four five so these five numbers we want to send from the source to the destination and what we send we along with these five numbers we add one more number which is 36 and 36 is nothing but the addition of all these 7 plus 11 18 18 plus 12 30 30 plus 6 it's 36 so where 36 is the sum of the original numbers now what the destination or the receiver says the receiver adds a phi number and the receiver adds these phi numbers which he, the receiver has received and compares the result with the sum if the two are same the receiver assumes absolutely no error accepts the phi numbers which are saying not this one this was just to check these numbers are correct or not and discards the sum otherwise there is an error somewhere and the data are not accepted and there may be a request for the retransmission of the data so we can make the job of the receiver quite easier how so we have the sender we have the receiver or the destination now the receiver can be helped by us by the sender if we send the negative that is the complement of the sum that is we are sending the checksum why not we send the negative of the or you can say what is the negative in digital digital in the negative is nothing but the complement the first complement so this is called the checksum so checksum is not the sum please understand when we added this this 36 is not the checksum it is just the sum but when we complement it and when we send it then it becomes the checksum so where we talk about this addition it becomes 36 and the negative of this is minus 36 this is our checksum so the receiver can add all the numbers now received including the checksum if the result is zero because we are now sending minus minus 36 negative of 36 so the receiver will add it this one also and if it gets the it gets the addition as zero it assumes no error otherwise there will be an error so how can we represent the 21 in ones complement arithmetic using only four bits so these four bits i'm just taking an example these four bits can be extended to say 8 bit 16 bit it, it depends on the you know length you take but i'll just give you an example of how 21 can be fixed inside this four bit because it, it is not going to fix up how 21 means 10101 one, one. that is it is this is in binary so this is one this is four and this is 16 so 16 plus 4 plus 1 which is going to be 21 but if you see these are 5 bits these are 5 bits so we just can hold 4 bits so what to do with the extra bit here what to do with this extra bit so when we have this 10101 one, one, these are 1 2 3 4 bits we what we have to do here is we can just wrap it around so we have to take this one bring it here discard it bring it here and just add them just a binary addition so 1 plus 1 in binary is 0 1 and then 1 plus 0 is 1 that 1 that 0 so what do we get we get this as the the checksum which is actually 6 this is not checksum this is just an addition because checksum is going to be negative of 6 so this checksum will be this is just an addition wrap around addition and the checksum will be we have to complemented so we have to do one's complement one's complement so this will be 0 to 1 1 to 0 and 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 so this is now 1 and this is 8 
So 8 plus 1, 9 is our checksum. Please understand, now the checksum is 9. For sending 21, the checksum will be 9. So how can we represent uh, the number, this minus 6 in one's complement arithmetic using only 4 bits? I just explained you, I'll again explain it once more. So we have 0, 1, 1, 0, this is the 6 we got. The negative of 6 is 1, 0, 0, 1. Negative, that is just the one's complement. So now this is 9. So the complement of 6 in binary is 9. So we just take the negative, that is the one's complement. So how? Just change 0, 0 to 1. Don't bother about this. Just, just change 0 to 1. This is our checksum, which I explained earlier also. Let us now redo the examples, example which we have just taken using one's complement arithmetic. Now this figure is showing the process at the sender side and the receiver side. So the sender now initializes the checksum to, to 0 and adds all the item and the checksum. The checksum is considered as one of the data item and it is shown in color. So what, we, what do we do? We add all these. When we add all these, it is becoming 30, 36. Now 36, the wrapped around, because 36, if you just write in the binary, because 36 is going to be like this. Uh, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. So this is 36 in binary, but we are only having 4 bits. So what we have to do, we just put it below this. We wrap it around, discard this, put it below and just add them. When we add them, 0, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 1, 1 is 1 and 0 is 0. So this is what wrapped around sum. This is not still the checksum. So what we are going to do for the checksum, we just change it to the complements like 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 1 to 0, 0 to 1. Now this is our checksum which is nothing but 9. This is how we send 7, 11, 12, 0, 6 and we send a 9 along with it. We send a 9 along with it, right? So these two extra bits, what we did, we wrapped around, we summed it with this one. And then we got the 6. This is 2. This is 4. So 2, 4, 6. Now this is 6. Now the sum is then complemented. The complemented is giving us 9, which is nothing but 15 minus 6. Because 15 minus 6 is 9 in binary. If you take the, the hex and uh, the decimal in mind. So the sender now sends six, uh, 6 data members. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then what? It sends a 9 along with this. So it sends a 9. This is checksum is 9. So what happens at the receiver side? What has a, happens at the receiver side? Now the, the receiver side, same thing the same receiver does. It just adds all the matter it got. So it adds 7, 11, 12, 0, 6, 9. Whatever is being, is being received, it just add it. And it sees it is coming to be 45. So 45, if you write 45, it will be 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. So again, we have to wrap it around in two in four bits. So take this, put it here. This will be 1, 1, 1, 1. Now the, the, the other thing is the complement because this, is, this has to be complemented. So it will be 0, 0, 0, 0. Now 0, 0, 0 has been received by the receiver side and this ensures that the data is correct. That is, this wrapped sum, when it is complemented, it becomes 0. And since the value of checksum is coming to be 0, this, man, this means that data is not corrupted. The receiver drops the checksum and keeps the other data. That it just really, just remove this 9 and it is happy with this data which is being received because, received because the checksum is 0. But if the checksum is not 0, the entire packet can be dropped. So this is the whole idea which I, I just explained just to let you know, to have a reference what actually is done in finding uh, the and finding and verifying the checksum. Then we have internet checksum. So we use or using a 16 bit checksum calculated in certain way. So what do we do? Here we have 16 bit word. We just talked about 4 bit word uh, just now. So we are talking about 16 bit word. So message is divided into 16 bit words. So from here to here, it will be from 1 to 16 bits. So the value of the checksum word is set to 0. All words including the checksum, they are added using one's complement addition exactly the same way which we just learned right now. The sum is complemented and becomes the checksum and the checksum is sent along with the data. So data along with the checksum is being sent. What happens at the receiver side? So the message which includes the checksum is divided into again 16-bit words. 
All the words are added using one's complement addition. The sum is complemented and it becomes the new checksum. If the checksum is zero, as we just saw in the example, the message is accepted, otherwise it is rejected. So only the difference between the previous discussion and this internet discussion is 16 bit words. Let us take an example. So let us calculate the checksum of a text of eight character, which say it's for all zone, the very, very famous book, uh, which uh, teaches us data communication and networking. So the next, the text needs to be divided into two byte, 16 bit. See, here we are talking about 16 bit. 16 bit means eight bit and eight bit. That is, this is one byte, this is another byte. So it has to be divided into two bytes. So we use the ASCII, we can see it using the uh, various appendix in the textbooks to change each byte to a two digit hexadecimal number. For example, F is represented by this 46, zero X is just to represent it as a hexadecimal number. And this number can be represented as the, the F is like this, the O can be represented, see this F is zero uh, X four six and the representation of O is 0x6f like this. So now we have uh, the idea how to how the checksum is calculated at the sender and receiving site. So in uh, this part A, which is the center uh, the sender site, the value of the partial sum for the first column is 0x that is hexadecimal 36. So we keep the rightmost digit 6 and insert the leftmost digit 3 as the carry in the second column. Right. The process is repeated for each column, and if there is any corruption, the checksum recalculated uh, by the receiver is not all zeros. So let us see what happens. I'll just give you an example of this. So we have this uh, F O we start with. Then we have to add it with this is one 16-bit word, another 16-bit word, another 16-bit word, and another 16-bit word. So this F O can be written as 46, as I just said. This is 46, and this is 6 F. So 6 F. Now you add it with R O, then U Z. This these are the equivalent which you will find using some ASCII table. Then A N. Then just we add the initial checksum is zero. Then we add them. There is a sum. Then there is a there is a bit which is which is uh, you can say a carry bit. So this carry bit because it is overflowing it. So we have to add this one. When it comes, it becomes eight F C seven. Then we just complement it, and this is the checksum which we have to send. We just complemented it. Now, when it reaches, it goes along with this for Ozan and then along with this 7038. So it adds all these, whatever has been received, and adds the checksum. And it, if the sum is, say, uh, FFFE, one is coming, we add this 8FC7, complement it, we get 0000. That means the data which has come is all right. If some error is there, the data can be again uh, asked. So this is just an example to show how internet uh, this uh, checksum works. So this is once again for your reference how the content is being done for a 16-bit word in internet in internet checksum.